for my first time on my show. Thank Sports you, Frank. It's a motorsport show that encompasses in uh, motocross, motor rallying, enduro. Talk about anything, motor. We are all into the same line of understanding and interpretation. Uh, let me take this chance again, and the guys who are joining me to have a chance uh, to get to know who is Simon. I'm just a normal guy, mm -hmm. down to earth guy. I like like to believe, and I enjoy like you. I enjoy anything on wheels. Oh, sure. Um, two wheels, preferably. Mm -hmm. um, and there's talking about enduro. There's nothing, nothing more better than actually getting on a bike and actually spending an hour, two hours, three hours, depending on the enduro, out out in the field. You know, not being dictated to upon by a motocross track where you've got to ride a, a tight circuit for 15 minutes flat out, killing yourself doing those jumps, and they do just that. Enduro is a little bit more down to earth. It's uh, yes, you'll challenge yourself, but you get those breaks in between the long straights, and your your legs don't have to take a pound in, and that's what we're all about. And uh, just before I go into your deeper private life, mm -hmm. how old is Simon, and how did you get to maybe get into <laughs> the enduro riding? Uh, at what age did you really get to shoot at the enduro riding? Oh, enduro riding, I don't know, but I. I I think I pretty much got on a bike when I fell out of a pram. Um, <laughs> the uh, yeah, it was something I'd, I'd say in late junior school. Even I'd made a little bit of money, you know, set, you know, delivering newspapers and working at, at the local shop. And I bought a very, yeah, January I bought a very cheap bike, um, which was a giveaway. Um, fixed it up with my father who was a mechanical engineer and uh, the rest was history and it just worked from there so long before I had a, a driver's license I was actually riding motorcycles. That's way back in England? Uh, it was back, back in England, correct sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a good case, where you went for uh, a cheap giveaway? Probably about 11 years old. 11 years? Yeah. Um, How old are you now? I'm 54. Well, <laughs> what an experience! Yeah, no, I've got I've got a couple of you know been around the the moon a couple of times oh, or the sun. <laughs> <laughs> right then, yeah. Here comes your time to be in Africa and Uganda in specific, and you get to roll off with a, and a sport that is just beauty. Yes. And how did you decide is, to go break the bones in the active uh, uh, call away the motocross and then decide to say no? With my age, probably, I need to go for Europe. <laughs> well, I never really did enjoy motocross. Uh, um, I'm just too big for the jumps. I always, <laughs> always have been. But as I said, you know, enduro, it's, it, it's not as rough as out there, out there as you believe. Yes, you get the obstacles, the challenging obstacles, but it's, it's all about how you approach it. And motocross is just approaching it one way, two ways, and mm -hmm. how you're going to land. Um, Enduro is a lot more about was trial riding, how, where you know front wheel placement, back wheel placement, you know body weight, where you actually put in standing on the bike, how you position yourself, how you preloading the suspension when you're coming into an obstacle. Um, that's where the challenge actually comes into it. Um, and then as well, when you fall, you don't fall as hard. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, when when I arrived in in Uganda in well, as I said, it was too, late 2011. 2011. Yeah, um, I think it was early 2012. I bought a bike, didn't like it. Bought another one. Um, I sold that one within a week, actually. <laughs> bought another one, fixed it up in 2013. Got into the circuit, yeah. and been enjoying it since. Yeah. Um, Big never looked back. No, I've never looked back. Um, but that said, you know, 54, the, it's time to slow down maybe. I'm going to see that, uh, taking on your decision, was it an easy one to, as you're down in Uganda, was it an easy one that it was ordered you to take on the decision of getting into active uh, racing or you needed to have a commission or an acceptance say, by family or vis-a-vis -vis your wife and kids? No, my wife is very supportive. I suppose you you as lo you as old as you feel. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's like a an elderly person. If they retire, they just suddenly get older quicker. I suppose yeah. this is me in denial 
I'm not old. I'm I'm young. Oh, you know? yeah. So um, could we say your your participation in the um, the activity of enduro is more like keeping you moving or not uh, calling age to come on over your age? Uh, it's just enjoying life. <laughs> you know, taking it to the fullest. Oh sure. Yeah. And then lastly, actually before we go to the other trail of uh, uh, how do you see the sport and uh, where do you see the future of the sport vis-a-vis uh, -vis yourself. Mm. Are you having a trail of youngsters coming into your footsteps? In time, you say, I'm hanging out my gloves and my boot. <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't happen too soon. But uh, yes, I think it's very important that the word get out about Endura. You know, the, the perception is that motocross is it. Motocross isn't it. You know, the, the youngsters need to actually get into the sport and start enjoying the sport. The, the last event we did in CESA, which was 31st of, of March. Wow, man, there were some really awesome riders that came through there. First time riders that had done Enduro, you know, they, they'd been used to the tight tracks, run, motocross, you know, Garuga, mm -hmm. and suddenly they were exposed to this. They had that little bit of extra freedom and they were difficult to keep up with. Trust mm -hmm. me on oh, that sure. one, yeah. <laughs> um, and, no, I'm really excited that there, there's guys out there. And there's, from a parent's perspective, because my daughter rides as well, there's less opportunity to get injured in an Endura. Um, motocross, you've got those big high jumps. You know, if you if you want to get around that track faster, you've got to do more airtime. Yeah, and Endura is not about that. As yeah. I said, you know, it's, it's about endurance and how much you can keep going. Yes, and keeping your wheels on the road. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, I I look forward to 2019. You know, we've only had had one national event, and at that Excellent. national event, we had quite a few junior riders, and I think through them, the word's going to get out how much they really enjoyed themselves, and yeah, we'll get more of them coming through. And then uh, looking of far so far, the, the few years you've been in the sport now, mm -hmm. way back from now, we're counting the six years coming. We started in 2013. 13, correct. And it's yeah. now 2019 complete, or 2019 mm. will be six years in the sport. Mm. Uh, with average contrast of situations of how this sport has been running, uh, what do you think is still demanding that needs to be fixed and to have a leverage to many youngsters to come into breeding? I think it's just really word of mouth. We, you know, communication is king. The word has to get out there that it's an enjoyable event. It's not just, you know, for. Uh, the big big boys on the 250s, 350s, 450s, you know, the 125s, the peewees, they must come through. Enjoy it, have fun. Oh, sure. Yeah. And then, uh, yes, I may be running you to the other side of administration. Uh, do you feel uh, it's satisfied satisfy that uh, we just want to need to turn our way better? Or would you in any future, if you like going to hang up your, boot, your boots and uh, gloves, are you looking at being supportive to the sport letting continue growing? I'll always be supportive to the sport. You know, I'll promote it where I can. Um, but I'm not in the committee. I'm not asking to be on the committee. Don't get me <laughs> wrong over there. <laughs> over the, those guys do a lot of a lot of time there and I've I've got a career on the side. Right. Well not on the side. This is my career but I'm, mm. I'm a hotelier. A hotelier. Yeah. So much time will be in your Profession. In my profession, yes, yeah. And uh, as a look up to recently, you you held the Ugandan Sprague High in mm. Nakuru, Kenya, and you captained your team for the first time. Yeah. How do you feel you're carrying an only three man team <laughs> to a region that had the pack of dry riders onto the track? Well, in fairness, it was a bit of by, by <laughs> default, okay, because Maxim is our is our captain, oh, yeah. and uh, Maxim, of course, had the the motocross event on the same weekend so he wasn't able, able to I was yes beyond that I was very honored to actually you know carry that captaincy in, in, in his absentia but uh, no we had a great time there oh. it, it uh, we certainly picked up a lot of skill mm -hmm. I, I believe so you know it, and, and the three of us was myself as you were uh, Dr. Gerald um, and uh, Brett yeah no we we uh, we were pretty exhausted afterwards, I have to say. I mean, their level of Endura versus ours is chalk and cheese. Um, 
but then it's the geographics. They've got a lot more mountain in their immediate area than oh, we yeah. do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what lesson did you learn by the Kenyans, our counterparts Kenya, as we will always look forward to have them hosted here? Don't underestimate them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, I love that. <laughs> yeah, never underestimate them. Oh, yeah. They, they were a, a great bunch of guys. Um, I mean, their captain, Ben Sphinx, has is, is been around, you know, but um, no, I'm still proud of how we performed. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, there was a, a seven, seven bikes in the expert class, and we took uh, fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth? Yeah. And that was the mm. captain being fourth? Yes, that's right. Oh. Yeah, and that bread bean. That was a good oh, answer. Thank you very I much. <laughs> Determination and heads up. And then yeah. lastly, we close off of this. Uh, uh, coming over the weekend is another event coming your way. And yeah. uh, we're much as or to have you over there. So what could be your expectation in the closer of this chat line? What could be your expectation for 2019 as a rider? Uh, it's... It's too soon to tell. We've only got one one ride under our belt, you know. Um, uh, when our, our team captain is back, yeah. you know, I, I think it's pretty much a done deal. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah no, it's. Uh, I'd I'd rather not go in. Not it's certainly not me. Don't look at me. Oh, you know, sure. no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, doctor would have done pretty well, but unfortunately, he blew his motor when when he was in Cologne. Um, the guru, yeah. um, but let's say maybe he'll get another bike by the weekend. He said he's trying to find a loner. Oh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, waiting for you, doc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna see you. He's, uh, that's the <laughs> Enduro riders, we're a lot more hospitable. Oh, sure. All right, yeah, no, we are. We, we it's a brotherhood, we look after one another. Um, bring your kids out. You know, we all look after them. We're not going to leave them out there to actually, you know, shrivel up if they fall off mm -hmm. the bike. Mm -hmm. Chances are they're not going to fall off the bike. Oh, you sure. know, it's not as, as rough and tough as, as motocross. Get them out, they'll enjoy it. And then they can actually progress to the next level if they want. Oh, it's just yeah. been a moment. It's yeah. a great moment and pleasure. Frank, you thank you very much. Well, we've had a chance today to have Simon, uh, our team captain, who called us the captain say, in a... Uh, Nakuru just a fortnight ago because he's now head up for the next round that is the second enduro uh, that is enduro race on the national calendar uh, a while or two Simon to your fans who are going to supposed to be turning up on tomorrow guys all I can say is thank you for your support and we're looking forward to seeing you all in CISA tomorrow beautiful see you up in CISA at the same time